Hi, John Lockwood here. Today I want to give you a tutorial on how to make a card like this using my brand new media plates with the matching John Nextdoor silhouette stamps and also using some of the new stencils that I've designed to go with them. There are some fantastic things that you can achieve with these. It is a really revolutionary way to actually increase your stamping. So, as you can see on this card here, we've got this beautiful background that's got all the different textures and patterns and all the different detail in it. We've got the silhouette stamps and the little shadow there. We've got a little bit of extra stamping around here. And then we've got the silhouette stamps on the front. This is the sort of card that would normally take me, if I was skilled enough, a good hour to produce with all of the different layers of shading. However, using the new Stamp 2 Impress tool, by Crafts 2, along with the media plates and the stamps, we can achieve this in a matter of minutes. So to achieve this, the first thing we're going to need is a stamp press, and I'm using the Press to Impress tool by Crafts 2. This is a fantastic project, it really has solved all my stamping issues. Basically what you've got is a hinge section where your stamps go, and in here you've actually got two magnets and also a piece of foam. And the foam is very important in my mind as it makes sure when we're using clear stamps and acrylic stamps that the pressure goes into this foam rather than actually going into the paper making sure that all our images are clear clean and crisp so i'm going to start with a piece of card and i've just cut this is white card and i've cut this down to a five by seven and i'm going to take one of the media plates this is the oval and the media plates are a special polymer that's been designed to work almost as a stamp to give you all the beautiful effects of using a gel plate without having to keep going back to the gel plate and use it as a stamp. So I'm just going to close the door which then picks up the media plate and we'll slide this down slightly so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use some of the inks and I'm using these new eyes ink inks by Aladine, a company from France and I'm going to use night and I'm going to use ultramarine. So to start with, I'm going to put a little bit of the night straight onto my media plate, and that's across the top, and I'm going to use some of the ultramarine across the bottom. Now, if I stamp this now, I will get all the texture that I've got from that ink pad straight onto my paper. But what I want to do is to soften it. So I'm going to take a brayer, and I'm using a hard brayer as opposed to a soft brayer, and just run this lightly over the media plate and this smooths out the ink and if I stamped this I'd get a beautiful ombre effect. But what we're looking for is texture. So next I'm going to use this. This is one of the Wave stencils, again from the John Next Door brand and I'm just going to place this over the media plate. Then take my brayer and run that across. Now you can go in any direction at all but what actually happens is as I run this across the pattern transfers from the stencil or mask onto the media plate. And hopefully you can see that. But if I pull that in and just close the door, all of that pattern and texture will now transfer onto my card. And there we go. You can see I've missed a little bit, so I just close it and push where I've missed. And that's completely covered. And that's one of the reasons why we use a stamp press for this technique is that we can continue to place this down, which means that we can keep diff adding patterns, adding texture and adding colour. So now I'm going to add a little bit of shading onto this. So I'm just going to take my ink pad and add a little bit around the edges. Again, a little bit of the night on the top and a little bit of the ultramarine on the bottom. And I'm going to use a little blending tool and just blend off the intensity of the ink. So just giving it little strokes so that I've softened the edge. And again, close the door to apply that to my work. So as that stands, we've got a very beautiful looking textured background. It looks as if that is a stamp, like almost a wave or a snakeskin stamp. But of course it isn't, we've created it ourselves which opens a whole world of possibilities with this technique. So next what I want to do is add a little bit more texture on. 
So from my summer silhouettes flower stamp set, I'm going to take this stamp, which is the tiny little sort of allium or dandelion heads, and add it to an acrylic block. I'm going to bring in the night and the ultramarine inks and just ink my stamp. And all I'm going to do is to stamp this directly onto the media plate. So with the darker colour, I'm going around one edge. I'm going to go in with the lighter colour and add some more. And whatever you stamp, ink or put onto this media plate will transfer to your work. So again, just close the door and you can then see that all of that texture has added in. So if you can imagine all the different stamps you can use for this, what I'm going to do next is to grab one of the stamps from this set and this time I'm going to actually use this sort of little, I think bobbly flower really I'd call it. I'm going to use the dark and I'm just going to add some of those again stamped onto one side and straight onto the media block. There we go. And again, close the door and that will transfer it on. Give it a good press, peel off, and you can see that we've got that in there. If I wanted that a little bit more intense, all I would do is change colour. So this time I'm going to go with a smoky grey from the Versafine range and just again stamp in those flowers and this time these will show up a little bit more. There we go. And just close that and because there's a contrast between the blue and the grey we've got all of that different pattern and coloration and as you can see everything's contained within the oval so it looks as if I've stenciled it off I've put two different colors of a stencil through over the white I've stamped into it and then removed the stencil it's a very complex looking thing that actually is very quick to achieve it to do and to achieve so now we're going to finish this off so I'll take the same flower that I've used and what I can do is just place this exactly where I want it on the design. So see where I want it, where it will lay out the best, and then simply close the door. And because we're going with silhouettes, I'm going to go this time with a black. So I'm going to use an onyx black in the Versafine. You can see we've got a little shadow stamping there, doesn't matter. The way that the stamp press works means that we just, as I close the door and stamp over, it covers over exactly where the other stamping was. So I'm going to add another one in, just there, to finish the design off. And we'll just ink that, and again, close the door. And finally, a sentiment. And this time I'm going to use the birthday wishes. So I can place that exactly where I want it, where I think it will work on the design. Take the other stamp off, close the door, to pick up the stamp and simply ink the stamp, close the door again and there we go. So what we've then got is our beautiful look, we've got our flowers on one side and we've got our sentiment all stamped and inked and when matted and layered this will look absolutely beautiful but it will look as if you spent hours at it when it's only taken a couple of minutes. For more ideas and tips and inspiration, visit my blog, which is www.johnnextdoor.blogspot.com or have a look online at my YouTube channel, again, John Next Door. Enjoy.